been having dreams. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm just gonna do kind of a quick little review slash like my thoughts on Gymshark. So I have a lot of their pants. I have one sports bra, like four tops and one like zip up sweater. Actually I have a hoodie too, but I don't even have it in the room right now, but it's not something I'm really gonna talk about. But yeah, so I'm gonna do a full little review. It's not gonna be a try on because I really don't have time to film um, me trying on every single pair of pants and all that stuff. If I have any pictures that I've taken throughout the time of wearing them at the gym, I'll post them just on one of the sides while I'm doing it. And yeah, let's just get right into this video because I don't have much time to film it. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm gonna try to go from like the order of what I bought originally to like what I've recently bought. Um, or actually, you know, we're just gonna go in sections because I have like groupings. So I have a bunch of the original flex leggings and I thought I had a bunch. Oh wait, just kidding, one's hiding. Okay, so I have the light gray, dark gray, purple. I also have the olive green. So the light gray is super stretchy. Um, it's still flattering. I just find the stretchiness isn't as like on the butt that you want it to be. It's like you kind of need to have a booty pump for it to look like you have a booty pump, you know? Um, other than that, like this one, I would recommend super comfy. They're kind of see, all Gymshark pants are honestly kind of see-through. Like I can't not say they are just because um, I have squatted in all of them and I have video proof of them being see-through. But these ones aren't completely terrible. I've done leg days in them. I don't really care if my pants are completely see-through or what, but like you're welcome if you get to see my butt. <laughs> Oh my god, okay. These ones are not as bad as the light gray. These ones are actually pretty decent for like squatting. Um, I wear pretty much all my leggings on leg days. I don't really care if they're see-through if I'm being honest. These ones are probably the most similar to the green, olive green ones with fabric and stretch and compression. I like these ones. Um, probably a little bit more than the light gray ones, but not as much as the olive green. Um, I would recommend those ones. These. I have had these for probably a year now. I've worn them once. I brought them in my gym bag when I went to work and I used to go from work straight to the gym and I put them on first time ever because I tried on the green ones and the dark gray because dark gray were the first pair I ever bought and they fit perfectly so I was like, cool, I'm gonna bring purple to the gym. Well, let me tell you, these are like four sizes smaller than the other ones. They're all an extra small, just so you know, but these have zero stretch. Like I'm. I can pull any of the other colors up above my belly button. These ones barely got over my butt. So I was not impressed, but luckily I brought like a long sleeve shirt to the gym. So I was able to like kind of pull it down and cover up everything. But yeah, purple would not recommend. If you want to get them, get them in like a size or two bigger. Um, grays are fine. The olive green is my favorite. I literally wore them so they're in my laundry basket. I'm not going to go grab them, but I'll post a picture because I take pictures of them every time I wear them pretty much. Um, oops. But yeah, so... Flex leggings are kind of hit or miss. Like, it depends if you like the feeling of, like, freeness. So, like, when I wear them, I have to wear them pretty much on leg days because I need to get a little bit of a leg pump, booty pump, something going on for them to feel like they're snug. But if I wear them, like, upper body, I feel like I have, like, a saggy butt or, like, a jiggly weird butt. So, yeah, that's kind of just hit or miss, whatever you like. But one of the top, I asked the thing on Instagram of, like, what you guys want me to review and cover in this video. One of the things was, what are the camo seamless leggings and the long sleeve crop tops like? So when I bought them originally, I bought just the leggings. And I never went back and purchased the top because of all the issues I have with the leggings. So this is the only pair I have left. I bought the green and the black. I've had two pairs of the black. Two. One was mine that I bought and I sent back a picture and all the stuff about it because it completely destroyed like literally I was pulling them up one day and just ripped apart on the butt on that little scrunchy seam um so they sent me a new pair of black the first time I put them on it did it again on that pair I just gave up and I was like I don't even want to deal with this I think after a, the second green pair I ended up sending another message and I just got a refund for one of the black pairs because I kept at least these ones haven't ripped yet so I can still wear them um but yeah they have like this little scrunch and I pull my pants up like this and then I'll go like that and honest to god it was stuck on my butt and it literally was like and just like destroyed and there was like a massive hole on the crack of my butt. Um, they are very see-through also 
do not listen to KK Fit because I don't know what they do with their pants and what pants they're getting, but they say all of their pants are squat proof and I buy all the same pants they have and they are not squat proof. And I wear the same size as them and they're still more jacked in their legs and butt than I am, so that should not be how it is. I don't know what they're false promoting over there, but yeah. Um, I haven't even bought the tops, never would buy the tops bra or anything after that situation with the butt thing. Um, I'm sure the tops are really nice because this fabric's thick. But it is see-through, that's the only problem. But it's thick and it's really comfy, like it's soft. So like I would maybe recommend the, the tops or sports bras. Um, but I'll get into a sports bra in a little bit. Uh, yeah. But one thing I have bought was, what were these? These are one of their seamless, like one of their first, the ombre seamless I believe it's called. They're like the dark to light gray. So <laughs> every pair of pants I have can you see that little hole? Have a hole directly in the butt crack. Like, where your butthole is. So, like, there is not getting around that unless you wear, like, a shirt wrapped around your waist. And even then, it's a little risky business because you never know if it's going to rip even more. Um, I have the gray ones. I have the gray to pink ones. These ones have not ripped. But they come with underwear. And I don't like the look of four butt cheeks, so I cut them out. Now you just see my butt cheeks because they're completely see-through. Um, but again, I don't really care if my pants are fully see-through or if they're see-through just in a little bit. I wear them. I bought them. It's whatever. Um, yeah. I don't know. The seamless uh, ombre ones were not the best ones. They're not compressing at all. Like, you need to have a hard butt, lifted butt, like, toned legs to feel like you have that. Because some leggings, like, you can buy compressive ones to Lulu. You can buy even the Energy Seamless from Gymshark. They all are so tight that you feel like, even when you haven't done anything, the, ener or not the energy, um, the ombre seamless and the flex are not like that. Oh, but the camo ones, they hold everything in and go right up your butt crack and some other places. But yeah, um, I honestly don't know what these are called. I think these are like the dreamy leggings, I think. They have like the pockets on the side, the back's like this, um, they're... Every pant I have is full length, but I'm too tall, so they're all seven eighths on me. These, I'm not gonna lie, they were probably my one thing I was so excited for in one of my orders. And I got them in, and I put them on. They have just this little baby band that goes like around the top, so it hooks into your like waist and looks ugly, it makes you look fat. And there's no compressor; like they are so thin and not like comfortable at all, like completely see through. Like literally, like it's like wearing like a sheer curtain over you. Like it's just, it's not okay. Uh, but again, KK Fit, Whitney Simmons, they all wear it. They all have squat proof pants. So get whatever fabric they have cause mine's not like that. Um, yeah. So let's talk about the Energy Seamless. I have the purple, lilac, whatever color, and I have the black. So I don't know where the black is, honestly. I have so many black leggings. I think they're still in my drawer. I tried to grab all my Gymshark, but you only need to see the purple. These, so stretchy. Like, these ones are okay. I can wear these. They're see-through, though. Again, don't care. Um, they give you a camel toe. Like, whoo! It's like a camel toe you've never seen before. Because it's such a light color and they're so stretchy. It's like, right up there. But, you know what? You just gotta get, go with it a little bit sometimes. I wear them still. I don't really care. I honestly don't care at the gym. <laughs> like, if they're see-through, I have a camel toe. Like... Half the time, all my bras have, like, deodorant stains all over them. Like, I really just don't care. I go to work out not to have a runway show of my outfits. <laughs> um, those ones are okay besides the see-throughness. I have the black ones, same size. They're all, all my pants are extra small, just so you know. Black ones are so tight. Like, I honest to God want to wear them to the gym because once you get them on and yank them into the right place, like, they're, like, like super lovely. Um, but getting them on, it's, like, a full-on workout on its own on its own and by the time I get them on I just don't even want to go to the gym like I'm so mad because they hurt they're almost like they're so tight that they are hard and they hurt to get on like you know what I'm talking about um but yeah I don't recommend black ones they have all these little holes in them my black ones have massive like rips because just not even pull like going through the holes I was literally holding onto the fabric in fists to pull them up one time and my nails because I have fake nails they literally like and just ripped the fabric apart so all my, pretty much all my Gymshark pants have holes in them for my nails too on the sides of the legs because I've always had fake nails. 
Uh, but yeah, I wouldn't recommend the Energy Seamless in black, but I'm sure, I'm assuming the other colors would be like the lilac, how they're super stretchy. I don't know, I didn't even want to order them after that whole black incident with them ripping and then these ones being completely see-through. Whew, yeah. Um, yeah. And then, these were my favorite leggings of the everything. Like literally any kind of legging they brought up, these were my favorite. And they still are and it makes me so, so mad and sad that I can't wear them. So, these are the seamless, I don't know what the actual name is, but they're the first ones that had like the booty contour like that. Oh, okay, that was the weirdest sound ever. So, these are the blue ones. I have the red ones. I wanted the dark gray and the light gray ones, but every time I went to go order them, I either didn't have any money to spend on them or they didn't have my size. So, I had these ones. They're the perfect fabric, the perfect fit, the perfect stretch. Everything is perfect, except... I went to go put them on and it ripped apart so this whole top piece is like a folded over like right here is like folded so it's like double layered and then it's like stitched because it's like seamless on the inside but mine completely came unstitched so I can't even like lay it flat and then pull them up and then be fine because as soon as I move because my butt jiggles so much when I walk that like it like rolls the fabric up and then I have like it almost looks like an underwear line because of like the inside seam is like rolled up so I literally can't even wear these I don't even know if I can fix them um if you know if you can actually get that sewn back like from like a what are they called a tailor whatever um let me know in the comments or like message me on Instagram so I can fix them because they're my favorite um but I have the red ones too they're so see-through they aren't as stretchy um I thought they were going to be more like the blue with stretchiness because most of the colored leggings are stretchy. It's more like the blacks that are super stiff, just like the color fabric, I guess. I don't know. But these are the red ones. I still like them. I still wear them. But I find that now that my butt has grown, you can see like it's a pretty small little gap for like the butt area because you're supposed to yank it up. Um, but I still find like they're almost like too small on my butt in a way. Only the red ones. Though. The blue ones were always fine. So I don't know what's up with that. Um, but yeah, those were honestly my favorite launch they ever had. And I would like all the gray ones but and a new pair of blue ones. But I messaged them showing them how my blue ones ripped apart. But because it was after six months or six months after I ordered them, I wasn't able to get a replacement. So that sucked and I wasn't ordering them again. Um, and then I have these. These are, what is the, the energy, no. What the heck are these called? The Vital Seamless. That's what they're called. So I have the black ones. They're honestly like a dark charcoal. They're not even black. Um, are these the ones? <laughs> okay, so I have two pairs. One of them is fine, but they're completely see-through like uh, most of their stuff. Um, I had to get a replacement pair. <laughs> I wonder how many of these are actually replacement pairs. I feel like I have like, I've had at least five. So I wonder, can you see the seam? I don't know. How it's completely ripped apart and like frayed. So these are the ones I had to get replaced. I haven't. Even, I honestly forgot they were in my drawer, so I haven't even thrown them away. But I was pulling them up one day again, and I went on the sides, and it went right down the middle of the butt crack, which really makes me mad because I watch KK Fit's videos and I love their videos. I see all their pants. That's why half the time I buy Gymshark pants because I like the way they look when they're wearing them, and they yank them so far up their butt. They're wearing a size extra small, and it's like. How can you do that without ripping every single pair, but all mine rip? And I'm like, I pay for them with my money. They get it for free through, like, the affiliate stuff. So, like, are they just getting a bunch of free pairs? Like, that's what I want to know. I wish, like, brands let people be honest, completely honest on reviews, rather than, oh, my God, I love this. And, like, really, it's, like, their fourth pair because all the other ones ripped. <sighs> yeah. Okay, I'm going to get mad soon because this is making me angry. How many pants I've had ruined from Gymshark. Okay, I don't know what these ones are called, but I'm sure everybody knows which ones these are because they're the only ones that came out in this pattern. Um, these are so cute. I'll put a picture of me wearing them because I know I have one from the gym. But honest to God, like, they have one of those really thin seams right there. This whole back part is really thin. And then all of these leg seams have no stretch. So, like, they are painful to wear. Like, honest, like, I can barely walk in them. I put them on for Christmas and... I had to take them off as soon as I took my family photo because I literally couldn't stand sitting in them. 
Um, I wore them to the gym once and I tried doing legs and honestly, like if you get any kind of pump and your legs swells like at all, holy, like the seams, the indents are worse than jeans. Like it's bad. Um, I love the fabric and the colors and everything like that. I just probably should have got like a small because of the seams, but they don't put that in the description saying seams don't stretch. <sighs> yeah, I'm really frustrated right now. Okay. This is, I think, the last pair of leggings I have to talk about. Um, these are the brand new Flex. <laughs> okay. The most see-through pair I have. <clears throat> They're the ones with, like, the gray. They're, like, a blue marl gray and then the gray back. Um, they're comfy and super stretchy, but see-through. Like, oh, my God. And... I like the flex, the old ones, because they're more, like, <clears throat> flattering. I find these ones, if you, like, didn't pull them up as high. I like pulling mine up so they, like, go up and bunch at, like, the top of my legs. Um, when you do that with this, the waistband goes too high. And then, like, where your belly should be into the, under the waistband, it comes, like, under. And if you have any bit of, like, a food baby, you see it. So, that's the only thing with these. Um, I kind of wish I would have got the black pair because I like black leggings more, but... Ooh, I kicked it. Um, I don't know why I picked that one, but I did, and I kind of regret it, but whatever. Um, okay, let's move on to some shirts. So, oops. I'm going to just do my sweater. This is literally my favorite jacket of life. So, it's just like a cropped zip-up, and it's got the Gymshark logo on the back, um, it's a thick material, so it's nice and warm. So, like, when it's, like, springtime, like, autumn, it's the perfect jacket to put on when I'm going to the gym, when I just have to, like, walk to my truck and then get out on the parkade. Like, it's not, like, winter wear, but it's a nice fabric. Like, that is good quality fabric. That is the one thing I'm, like, yes, you need to buy it now because I love it and I would have bought every, like, color if I had enough money to do that. Um... I have one of their hoodies. I'll put a picture just from what they have online. I have the black one. It's so tight and doesn't have any stretch. I bought a size small because it was like, the model's wearing a size small. And I was like, she looks decently like my size, same like height as me and everything. And so I bought the size small. And once you get it on, you need somebody to assist you to get it off. You're like, hello, help, thanks. Um, but yeah, wouldn't recommend the hoodies unless you go up a size or two. Um, yeah, those are the only jackets I have. Um, I kind of want to, I'll do it after. I'm going to talk about something after. But I bought this. My sports bra. Okay. Such a cute style if it stayed like this. But the problem is it crisscrosses like here. And then as soon as you're wearing it at the gym, it's like, meow. And like, so <laughs> one of the girls I know, she messaged me on like my response thing and said, how do the sports bras fit? Good support or is everyone going to get a show on cardio day? And let me tell you, everyone is getting a show. Like there's no controlling it. And then the pads on the inside look so awkwardly shaped. You can see the whole outline. But when you take them out, it's like you see your nipples and you see things under. Like it's not completely boob proof. <laughs> like you, you can see through it pretty well. Um, after buying that one and the weird padding and not even really liking some of the pants because of the fabric and the ripping. I didn't even want to deal with trying to buy more sports bras because I didn't know what size I needed because I bought that one. This is a small and it's almost too big on me. And I always wear like size six at Lulu, mediums every other place. And I'm like, I needed an extra small at Gymshark. So I didn't want to order any more yet just because I kind of want to do some more research, find out people I know in person that like what size they have so I can see like if I need an extra small just because like you see people online and you assume, oh, I'm the same size as them, but when you see me in person, they could be way smaller than you or way bigger than you, but, like, everything looks different on the internet. So, I don't really know what I want to do yet, but I bought one sports bra and that was enough. Um, I do want to talk about their shorts, like spandex, because I bought the flex shorts and I have the peach colored. I didn't grab them because I completely forgot I had them. I have the peach ones. I have a palm tree tattoo on my hip and you see it. Like, full on, it's just, like, palm tree. Um, you see your whole butt crack, everything. Like, they are so see-through, it's not even funny. And then I bought the black pair. And again, I bought everything in extra small, because all my leggings were in extra small. 
I bought the black pair. They were so tight and not stretchy that I can't. I couldn't even get them up my, like above my thigh. Like I literally couldn't even get them on, so I just had to sell them. So I don't have them anymore. I just sold them on Marketplace. But like, I don't understand the fabric. Like you should be able to wear the same size pant, or even just same size in all the pants, all the shorts, like everything like that. Unless you're going for an oversized sweatpant look, and you want to get a bigger size like that. Um. But yeah, I don't like the shorts at all. I honestly don't even care for the shorts. I'm not a shorts person, though. That's the thing. Like, I don't like wearing shorts to the gym. I like wearing leggings and a sports bra. <laughs> I'm not, like, a huge shorts person. Um, the other thing I have that I'm not a fan of is I have the lounge joggers. Like, the old version or the original version. Um, I have the gray ones. They are beyond see-through. There's, like, literally no fixing it. Like, I can't even wear it. Like, I wear nude underwear, and you see them. Like, it's that bad. I bought an extra small because all the fitness people I followed were wearing extra smalls. But like, I would honestly need a medium for it to not be see-through. That's what makes me mad. Cause it's like, you follow what people wear. You follow what models, they post pictures of models that say what size they're on are wearing. And it's like, you order based off that. And then you get them and it's like, what? Like, were you like false advertising what size they were to make them feel better or something? Like if they're wearing a medium, tell them, like, tell me they're wearing medium and I'll get a medium. Like, I don't care, but I feel like every time I've ordered from there, it's just not the right sizing that they're advertising or they're saying because, yeah, everything's always too small. I think those are all the pants that I have that I wanted to talk about that I don't have in the room with me right now. Pretty sure. But yeah, let's move on to tops. So I have four. Um, I bought this because I liked my olive green flex, so I thought it would be cute, and it's cute. And like, this is lovely, super stretchy, so much stretch in the boobs, but this, I don't know if anybody has the flex, like original flex leggings, um, the band on the waist is kind of compressive, so if you have a boat, bloat or food baby, like you see it, because it's so tight. Um, it's the same thing with this, if you have love handles or anything like that, you're gonna see it, because it pushes in so much, and I bought, I think it's a small. <laughs> I have no idea. Um, I want to say it's a small. Um, yeah. I would buy it, but I would up your size because you don't want it to be like suffocatingly tight. I've worn it to the gym. I'm so comfortable everywhere, but I've literally had to take it off in the middle of the gym just to wear my sports bra because it was like digging into like right here to the point where like it was leaving an indent. Um, other than that, it's super comfy. I love the like style of it with the, the band on the bottom. Because you can wear it with a set of, like, the pants and it looks really cute. But I don't have any ones that match. So, yeah. But this is my favorite, 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 favorite top I've ever bought from Gymshark. It was the first top I ever bought. That's why I bought more. Um, yeah. It's just the seamless cropped long sleeve. And it's so comfy. Like, the stretch is perfect. It doesn't cut into your waist. It fits my arms. And I have, like, decent size arms. And I think it's a small as well. I believe all the shirts I bought were a small. But I rip off all the little clear rubbery tags because they're uncomfortable. Um, but honestly, like rec I would recommend it 100%. It's literally the most comfortable workout shirt I have. So breathable. Um, the sweat stains don't get bad like at all unless you're literally like dying of heat. Because it's happened to me a couple times. But usually I can go through a whole leg workout, cardio session. And it doesn't even like, you can't see anything. And then... This is the last long sleeve I have. Let me fix it. It's this one. So this used to have the ribbon. So it's one of those ribbon ties and like it's got the little loops for it, but it looks so weird with the ribbon and this doesn't fit like snug around my waist. It stays loose. So the ribbon just looked weird because it was like the fabric and then like the ribbon would go into my waist and it just, yeah, it was uncomfortable. So I just took the ribbon out and I wear it as a normal crop, but it's got like these like scrunched up sleeves with like a little hole for your thumb. Um, one thing I really like about the Gymshark long sleeves is that the sleeves are really long. Like, I have to fold up the lilac-y purple one because I have, like, a Fitbit and stuff, and I always fold them up so they're not, like, bunched up around my wrist. But I actually really like that because usually shirts and pants are way too short on my arms and legs. Um, the only thing with the black one is, like, a normal t-shirt material, so it's not stretchy or, like, super stretchy. And if you wear it to the gym, you have to leave it on for your whole workout till you get home to shower because your armprints will have black fluff all over if you sweat. So yeah, just a heads up on that one, but they are comfy. They're kind of more like a loungy shirt, I would just say. But if I'm wearing colorful pants, I'll probably put that on if I feel like I need a shirt. But yeah, I bought this. This is the Vital Seamless Racer Back. 
honest to god probably the nicest racer back i own and i've had the lulu ones um the Lulu and Aviva ones aren't even as comfy. Like, honestly, that I would recommend that shirt out of every single thing, you need to go buy it. <laughs> like, so stretchy. It comes, like, up pretty high. So you can do cardio, you can do jumping, anything like that. Your boobs are going to stay down even if you're wearing a sports bra like theirs when it's, like, everything's on show. Um, it's super long. So I'll pull it up and, like, tie it in a knot. Or I'll just, like, pull it and flip the bottom part out of it to make it, like, a crop top. Um, but yeah, I used to wear that with the vital seamless leggings when they didn't rip on me and it was my favorite outfit. <laughs> uh, yeah, so those are the shirts I have. Um, I would buy more shirts. I do want to buy like their casual kind of t-shirts and stuff like that. Um, but every time I go on again, never my size, never have enough money for all the things I want. And it's like, um, being in Canada ordering Gymshark, you have to, or not even always, it depends on like where you're ordering to and what place you're picking it up because sometimes I have duty fees that are like out of this world sometimes I don't have any duty fees um so it kind of like hit or miss for me and you have to spend over a hundred dollars to get like free shipping so it's like I want money to spend when I go and order their stuff because it's like if I end up having to pay duties I'd rather be paying duties on like 10 items than buying one thing and being like oh you owe another 35 dollars on top of like the hundred dollars you just spent on one item so yes I'm probably hopefully going to be able to do another Gymshark haul again and maybe just try like some shirts and maybe their newer pants and like size up in the pants and then it can give you like a comparison of like sizes um let me know if that's something you want to see down below I can do a comparison of like my old sizes versus new sizes if I get smalls um yeah some of the other I had two other questions on my Instagram and it was what is the difference between the different styles, thickness, compression, and comfort? Um, I would say oh, the thickest ones are the Energy Seamless. Most of the Seamless are decently thick besides the Ombres. They're really thin. The Flex Leggings are, like the old ones are really thin, but they're stretchy. And if you feel comfortable in that, then they're really nice. Um, the new flex aren't, or they're really thin, but they're not as stretchy. The shirts are pretty stretchy and comfy. Um, the sweaters are not. Like, the thickness or thick hoodie materials and stuff like that, you need to, like, size up. I think the zipper crop one I just showed you is a small. This hoodie I have is a small, but I would need a medium in it to even wear it. Um, I'll put a picture of the hoodie one because I do have one because I did put it on for the gym one time. Um, I just couldn't take it off at the gym. I had to do my whole workout in it because I got stuck. But, yeah, um, I actually wrote out all of the styles, sizes, guide, and everything. So, I'm going to, like, after I'm done talking and go through everything, I'll just put a little slide at the end of this whole video that explains the sizes, the, like, styles, um, whether it's see-through or not, and just stuff like that. Then you have a little guide when you're going through. Um, and then the last thing I have is sizes, are they worth the money, and the best products. Sizes, I'm going to show you at the end. Um, they kind of vary depending on what product you get. And then, is it worth the money? Depends on, okay, so if you're ordering, like, how me, when I'm coming from Canada, it's the duties that kill me. So it's like, it's worth the money if you have enough money to buy a bunch to get free shipping that way. And then plus, if you end up having to pay duties, if you're buying like a couple hundred dollars worth of it and you're only paying like 20 bucks in duties it's not that bad it is worth that price but be very careful when you're ordering what styles you're ordering just because the see-throughness sizing can be weird um if you know me personally and you're watching my videos and you have a sizing question just message me text me um if you don't know me leave a comment below and i can try my best to help you out but i do know most of their sizing so far and what would be best for people so like when people want to order Gymshark that I know they usually ask me and then just tell them oh I wear this size you probably need this size because I need a bigger size and like things like that um and from what I have experienced so far when I've gave people sizing advice everything has fit them perfectly I'm just the one that buys too small of clothes so yes and the best products um the vital seamless tops for sure and I would say the original flex leggings are my favorite minus if you have a bloat or ba food baby because of the waistband um other than that i would say they're original seamless but the problem is i don't think they sell it anymore um the energy seamless could be really nice if you get the right size 
So, yes. Um, again, just follow my last slide that I'm going to post or put up here. But, yeah. Best products, probably the sweaters. They're so comfy and thick and warm. And, yeah. I think I covered everything. This is going to be the longest video of a life. But, you know what? It was needed because... I find a lot of people are asking me lately about Gymshark and what sizes they need and how if like they should order it because I wear so much and I post a lot of pictures in it just because they are flattering to take pictures in. Um, yeah, I hope this answers your questions. If I didn't answer any of your questions, leave it in the comments below and I will answer it. Um, or feel free to message me. Um, my Instagram and everything is linked in the description. And I will leave hopefully all of the clothes that they still have available on the web website. I'll leave it in the description as well. And yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I'm so sorry this video is like 30 minutes long, I think. <laughs> um, again, leave comments below for anything I've said in the video, anything you want to say, any video requests you have on other clothing brands. Um, and then, yeah, anything you want to say in the comments, go ahead. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss another video with me and I can give you more updates on fitness clothing um i'm gonna do i think another like summer clothing haul of like normal clothes um just things like this t-shirt i have it's like a little cropped t-shirt says baby girl on it just like basic things like that that i wear um i have some shorts i bought stuff like that i'll probably do a video soon but yes Whew, my throat hurts i need water i'm gonna go i hope you have a great day and i'll see you in my next video